to another Music Maker guitar video. I'm just playing with my jazzy tones this morning. This uh, Laudo GRT is uh, it's my personal guitar that Peter Brown built for me. And uh, I wanted it very specifically to do a few things. And man, he, he really... This guitar does everything. Um, I, I use it a lot of the time for, for rock and jam band, funky kind of gigs. But... Uh, he really, like, he did uh, a great thing with this pickup, rolling off um, some of the high end and boosting some low. Believe it or not, that's my bridge pickup. <laughs> and uh, it just sounds great, really jazzy. jazz tone coming out of it. Really, really, really uh, pretty. But uh, I had a student, he said he came across a chord chart for a song he's trying to learn, and he ran across this chord, this chord, right here, <laughs> right here, that chord, um, this bar chord. Now, I've seen this notated a lot of different ways, and those of us who know how to do a bar chord, once you see it, you know exactly what they're asking for. Um, but if it's your first time seeing one of these, it can be a little tricky. So what they're actually asking you to do is to bar down or play a bunch of strings, in this case all six, with one finger. And that takes some finger strength to build up. So, for those of you who are new at bar chords and you're trying to build up the finger strength to be able to achieve it, this is the video for you. Now, what is comforting, I find, is that you actually don't need to press all six like this to form a bar chord because you're going to be playing those two. So if, if I don't like fully press down on the bottom end, but I get this note here, I'm okay. As long as I can get those four to ring, these other fingers are going to do the rest of the job for me. A less jazzy tone for now. That's happening with the next chord too. We're only barring five, and we're muting that low one. So again, I'm barring that down. So today, we're going to go over some exercises to help you learn to bar. I'm going to just set a nice little loop, and you can practice along with this.
is, let's work on two. So something that I find that works really nice over these chords. It's just a double stop. That's when we play two notes, one finger. You can see sort of where those strings made their indentation right there, right in the middle of my finger. So playing strings one and two together. our goal of a bar chord I will preface this don't move before you're ready okay if you're having trouble with two strings stick on two strings for a minute maybe uh, the rest of today maybe try and add one tomorrow or something but I often teach a song for adding three and four and uh, what I do for that is if you know the song moon dance Van Morrison it's an a minor we're not gonna do the whole thing we're just gonna do that I do with like a hybrid pick, but you can do that with your pick. We're just practicing. Five, seven, eight, seven, right? But now we're getting three notes. Just work on that, making it clean. we can do as guitar players and kind of like use our other fingers to help that makes it easier to push but I discourage people from doing that because what's gonna happen is if you get used to these fingers helping then when we go to play another chord like a bar chord then now our first finger doesn't have the strength to get everything down so what I tell people to do try and make like a little peace sign if you're working on your first finger right Make like a peace sign between your first finger and your second sign. Right? Put some distance in there so that you're not cheating and helping. Right? That way when it's time to use those other fingers, they're ready to go. As opposed to being busy helping with something else. Now when you get to four strings, same song. Right? not be perfectly right with what the recording is but it helps and it makes something musical you know I think there's a big part that a lot of students miss 
You get to practicing scales. You get to practicing arpeggios, triads. And we forget to play some music. So this helps tie a little bit of that together. You're just playing some music and working on this skill of pushing four things down at the same time. Which, for, again, for us that know how to bar, this might not be your video today. But if you don't know how to bar, this is can be really helpful for, for building your strength. Now, when it gets to five and six strings, unfortunately, I don't have a good musical sounding solution other than use your fingers and your pick to sound musical. But, again, what you're going for is five strings next. And I like to just test, test yourself, you know, see if you can get five strings out. Say this fourth string isn't ringing, right? If you play these strings one at a time, you'll see the problem note as soon as you hit it. It's really hard for me to do on purpose, by the way. <laughs> and then adding that sixth string. Now, once you're here, I think most people are ready to start adding those other notes. So maybe work on which fret you're on. Fret 2 being a little closer to the nut. I, I was on fret 5 just now. It's a little further from the nut. It's a little easier. So you might want to work on these maybe on fret 1 even. When you're really getting your strength together to give yourself the biggest possible challenge. And that way when you have to play a bar chord on fret 1. No big deal. It's there. Let's get back to this bar chord. It's fret 2. What they're giving us is a minor bar chord. So if you take like an E minor chord, cowboy chord, right? Zero, two, two, zero, zero, zero. Now what we want to do is actually just take this whole thing and move it up by two frets. So if you take zero and two and two and zero and zero and zero, those are your fret numbers that you're playing there, and you add two to each of those, right? We get two, four, four, two, two, two. That's what we want. That's how we get bar chords, right? You can take any chord that's open and do that. Take a C chord, right? Three, two, zero, one, zero, right? Add two frets, so you get five, four, two, three, two, right? And then you get all these movable shapes that you can use and understand things. That's like the caged system. They talk about that, right? It's kind of about learning all those open cowboy chords and how to play shapes of them up and down the neck. But that said, that's what you're doing here to make a bar chord, right? So I'm playing barring down and then I'm also playing four and four and my two finger looks like it might be doing something but it's just floating off the top of the neck here at the at the end here. Just floating off, right? Allowing everything to ring. You can even use that to maybe help with that first finger, but beware with that because when you move to the next chord, that's your A minor chord now, moved up by two. So we have zero, two, two, one, zero, plus two, zero plus two is two, two plus two is four, two plus two is four, 1 plus 2 is 3, 0 plus 2 is 2. So I get 2, 4, 4, 3, 2. That was a lot of musicians' math real fast. All right, so there's my B minor chord. There's my F sharp minor chord. Hopefully, to my student who asked this question, this is helpful. And hopefully to all of those out there in the internet universe uh hopefully that was helpful for you guys to help to learn your finger strength and um really just polish up that left hand a little bit for today uh that's going to be all for t today i will see you in tomorrow's video have a great day